If you're like me, when you're creating content on a Drupal site, especially a new Drupal site, sometimes it's just easier if you could just make copies of everything and do it really quickly. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with a simple module called Entity Clone. You create one node, well, then you can make copies of it. And it simplifies and speeds up content creation a lot on your Drupal site. Let's take a look. I'm over here at drupal.org slash project slash entity underscore clone. And it says it right here. This module adds a new entity operation, which allows you to clone many of the entities, config and content provided by Drupal core. Most specifically, I use it for content, but here it lists all of the entities that can be quickly cloned using this module. This is pretty awesome. Users, actions, blocks, date formats, form nodes, view modes, you name it, you can clone it even responsive image styles if you have that module turned on as well. Well, let's go take a look and see how it works. I've already installed it here. It's a simple composer command and you don't have to configure it at all. It just works. If I'm over here and I click on my test article, there's a brand new menu item here called clone. Well, click it. Are you sure? And if you want to take ownership of it, click clone. And now you've got a cloned node. Let's go take a look one more time. Content, add content, article. I'm going to quickly fill out all the fields. My new article, throw some lorem ipsum text in there, some tags, and I'll even upload an image from our Drupal 9 class and click save. And clone. Now, because I've cross-referenced some entities here, it's going to ask me if I want to clone those as well. Do I want to clone the testing entity? Sure. Take ownership and clone. And now even the taxonomy term I entered earlier is now cloned as well. You'll need to be careful there, of course. If you're doing this with media or any other entity and clone all of those elements, well, you're going to get a lot of copies. Just be careful of that and you're good to go. Well, it doesn't get much simpler than that now, does it? <laughs> There's no save and new in Drupal, like there is in WordPress and Joomla. And it would be nice if that was available. But in the meantime, you've got clone. Hmm. Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We produce a new video every week. Hey, would you like, subscribe? We'll see you next time.